Hey everybody, Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Five Nights at Darl's Remastered. Where this is a Five Nights at Darl's game made by Devin Manning, who is the creator of the Five Nights at Darl's series, Five Nights at the Mind series, Five Nights at Illuminati series, Five Nights at Freddy Pixel Edition series, as well as One Night at um, Tortellini series. But anyways, without further ado, we'll start a new game, see what has on for us. Night One. Oh, I love that glowing sound. Oh, we got a phone call. Move your mouse over the doors and the vents to use the flashlight. Hmm. Uh, hi. I'm the previous night guard who worked in that office before you, so I'm here to say... Oh, we got a doll mask. Nice. Week of working. Now, uh, the animatronics have been known to roam around during the night. It's just their night mode, so don't go thinking that the place is hot. Hold to charge disruptor. Huh. Oh, that's Darl. That's an older Darl. Just don't worry. As long as you follow everything I say, you'll be fine. Now, uh, you may have noticed there is a room right next to your office. And that's the store room, which currently houses an older animatronic. Now, uh, to keep it off, we have a disruptor. However, during the day, it's automatic, but at night, it's manual. So what you have to do is every now and then go into cam, the cam go into camera eight and, and charge it up. Okay. And um, oh, you may have noticed that we supplied it with an empty Mr. Darl van. That's to fool the other characters into thinking you're an animatronic. Now, um, it's company policy to never mention the animatronics by name. But for your sake. I'll let you know who is who. Mr. Darl is the one with the tuxedo and top hat. Darl is the one in purple with the crown. And he is the one in white with glasses. Alright. Now that you're caught up, I think you should be fine. Okay. Talk to you tomorrow. Alright, so whoever shows up in my office, we have to use the mask. And then... And then for the older Darl, we have to... Or whether Darl is the better word, we have to press and hold to charge the disruptor to prevent him from moving. Okay, so apparently they have voice actors in this game. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Up. The camera got disrupted, so that means somebody's moving. Okay, that's actually a pretty dementing voice. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's very demanding. Oh god, here comes the stressful music. Ugh, I hate when games have these really stressful music. Because that just makes each night very stressful, and it basically is telling me that the animatronics are about to come get me. Ugh, I, I hate when they play that really stressful music. It makes the game even more stressful. I can't understand what he's even saying. Okay, I gotta charge the disruptor. Okay, who keeps saying that? Whoever keeps saying that unintelligible word, I can't understand that. It's kind of intimidating. Oh, here's Darl. Gotta put the mask on. Okay, so we're dealing with Darl this night. Same with, um, Wither Darl. Or Older Darl, whatever you want to call him. Okay, so for the Older Darl, we have to... Char obviously charge the disruptor, which is what we gotta do. And then I gotta keep my eye out for the newer Darl. Or as he's called in this game, Mr. Darl. We have Darl and Mr. Darl, which Mr. Darl is the newer animatronic. Older animatronic is Darl. Okay, so I already dealt with Mr. Darl. Now I gotta go charge the disruptor for Darl. And then we have Darl and Gina, which we will deal with eventually.
There. Oh my god, I hate when this when Darl says that Mr. Darl says that. Okay, I just saw Darla. Okay. So for Darl, for Mr. Darl, Darla, and Gina, we have to put on the mask for her. I think Gina, I'm not sure. For Mr. Darl and Darla, we have to put the mask on. And then for Darl, we have to charge the disruptor. God, will you stop making that noise or whatever word you're saying? It's really intimidating me. I can't even understand what Mr. Darl is saying. Oh, hi, Mr. Darl. Speak of the devil. Alright, so Mr. Darl comes in the middle hallway. And I assume Darla comes from either the left or the right hallway. I don't know where. Oh, wait, the storage room's actually the right hallway, so... Darla, I'm assuming, comes in the left hallway, and then Mr. Darl comes from the middle hallway. And then the right hallway is where um, Darl will come from if I don't charge the disruptor. Because the right hallway is the storage room, and that is where Darl is. And I have to charge it periodically. Oh, there's Darla. Okay, I wonder who's going to be coming from the vents. I'm assuming Gina. I don't know who, but... But we're probably going to have to deal with somebody in the vents eventually. Oh my god, here we go with the word again. That word is so intimidating. Oh, not again with the stressful music. Can you make this game any more stressful and intimidating? Okay, here's Mr. Doll. Yeah, this game reminds me of Five Nights at Fred. The game's stressful music reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Same with um, Five Nights at Ronald's and um, Five Nights at Smudger's 2. Because those games, period, like later in the night, have like really stressful music playing. And it is very intimidating. That's what's so annoying about that. Like, I don't get why there's an organ in Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and Five Nights at Ronald's. That's what I don't get. Why an organ? Oh, somebody's coming through the vent. I'm assuming that's Gina or Darla. I don't know who it is, but I'm going to check. Oh, not again with the music. Why do you have to make it so intimidating? Mr. Doll, I see him. I forgot to mention, this game reminds me of Five Nights at Darl's 1, where we have to use the mask. And this game also reminds me of Five Nights at Smuggers 4's Custom Night Mode, um, and, a, and a bunch of other FNAF fan games where we have to use the mask. Oh, not again with the music. Why do you have to play the music every, like, ten minutes? I mean, it, it makes sense to play it later in the night, but why every ten seconds? That doesn't make any sense. Jesus, why do you have to play that music? And apparently Mr. Darrell isn't making it any better. <laughs> Okay, hi, Mr. Darl. I just, I just, I see you. I'm checking for Darl and Gina. There's Mr. Darl. And now I gotta go deal with Darl right now. Alright, and we beat my one. That alarm clock's kind of loud, that's why I had to turn down the volume a little bit. Okay, so what's next? Oh, we just jump right into night two. Perfect. 
All right, so since I got time, enough time to record, we will take on night two. So without further ado, let's see what night two has to offer for us. All right, on to night two. And we get a phone call. Hey. Now, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that the animatronics become more aggressive with uh, each coming night. Um, so... Alright, so let's get on to night two then. Same thing as night one, check the hallways and the vents and for Darl, Darl and Gina, or sorry, check the hallways and the vent for Mr. Darl, Darl and Gina, and then check the storage camera for Darl and recharge the disruptor. Okay. And that's really the only time I have to use the cameras is to check on Ms. Darl to recharge the disruptor. Oh god, here comes the music. Okay, I'm assuming that's what Mr. Darl says. I don't know what he says, but it sounds like this. Is that even English, or is that gibberish? Because it sounds like gibberish to me. Oh, Darla. Alright, now let's recharge the disruptor. Alright, let's see. Who else is here? Nobody else. Oh, hi, oh, hi Mr. Darl. I see you there. And I gotta put on the mask. There you go, got rid of Mr. Darl, and I dealt with Darla, and the music is playing again, which is very intimidating. And I'm just gonna recharge this disruptor while I'm waiting. Okay. Okay, nobody's there, so that's good. And here comes the music again. God, why does the music have to play every hour in this game? Just why? It should only be played at like 4 or 5 a.m. Like in, like with Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and Five Nights at Ronald's and Five Nights at Smutters 2. And those games, the music plays at like 4 a.m. Why is, why every hour in this game? Okay, Darl. I mean, Mr. Darl. Gotta put the mask on for Mr. Darl. Alright, so got rid of Mr. Darl. Now I'm gonna go check on the real Darl. With the disruptor. Sounds like he's saying whoosh. I don't know why. Did I see Mr. Jarl? Let me go check. Oh, I thought I saw Mr. Darl for a second, but I didn't. Surprisingly, the middle hallway is dark until Mr. Darl or anybody else shows up there. That's what surprises me. Okay, I don't see Mr. Darl yet, or Darla, or Gina. Let me go check on them. They could be lurking in any corner. I don't see anybody, but I hear the music again. No, I do not see Mr. Darl or anybody. Oh, there's Mr. Darl. I see him this time. 
Okay, so I saw Mr. Doll all that time. I thought I didn't see... For a second I didn't see him, but this time I saw him. I don't know why. Because, I mean, the middle hallway does have blind spots. That's why it's pretty dark until Mr. Doll shows up. And then the right hallway is pitch... is dark and pitch black. But, I mean, I don't have to worry about the right hallway because, I mean, the only character I have that comes from the right hallway is Darl himself, which I can keep him at bay by recharging Disruptor. And here comes the music again. Wait, did I actually... Is Mr. Darl here? Let me check. Nope, he is not. Good. Now I'm going to go deal with Darl. Is he here? Nope. Mr. Darl is not here. Let me check for him again. Nope, not there. Nope, don't see him. Are you there? Nope. Oh, there's Darla. I didn't see Mr. Darla, but I see Darla. I'm going to go check for him again, though, just to be safe. Okay, he is not there. Dealt with Darla, now I'm going to deal with Darla. Okay, I'm going to check for Mr. Darla, and then Darla and Gina. Nope, not there. Nope. Still not there. Oh, there he is! I didn't see him. This is the second time I didn't see him for a second, but then he showed up out of nowhere. That's just crazy. It's crazy how, for a second, I didn't see Mr. Draw, but then when I go and check again, he just shows up out of nowhere. It's just crazy. Okay, let me go deal with Draw real quickly. While listening to the music again. Alright, check for anybody. Nope. I haven't had a deal with Gina so far. And Gina, I'm assuming, doesn't become active until night three. I could be wrong because I actually have not had to deal with Gina so far in this game. I've only had to deal with Darl, Mr. Darl, and Darla. I haven't had to deal with Gina yet. I don't know when she'll become active. Probably, probably night three she will. I don't know yet. Because I haven't had to deal with her so far. And here comes that intimidating and stressful music again. Is Mr. Roll there? Nope, not there. I mean, ah, there he is! Okay, so he was there that time when I put up the camera. Alright. God, Mr. Darl is fooling, is fooling me this night. Okay, let me go check for the ga Darl and the gang. Nope, nobody there. There's Darla. Now I'm going to go check for Mr. Darl. And we beat night two. There we go. Alrighty. So what do we have next? Okay, so it just jumps into night three. We will take on night three in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.